we, we took off. How do you have the record for flying an airplane you didn't know how to fly? Yeah, we took off from that two island, 6.30 in the morning, and headed towards Anchorage. And we got out about an hour, and I got cold. It was a cargo plane, there wasn't no heat in it. And the rest of the guys had Arctic sleeping bags, and they'd slide their legs down in the sleeping bag and zip it up to about here and leave her arms out. Why didn't you have one? I had to turn mine in when I left. Oh. I left that too. See, everybody else was an officer but me. So <clears throat> I said, my God, it's cold in here. And some guy turned around and said, go up in the cockpit. He said, it's warm up there. You got a heater in it. Well, that sounded like a good offer to me, so I went up to the cockpit. The only trouble is when I got up there, there wasn't nobody there. What? And I sat down in the pilot seat. They had curtains, uh, curtains over the windshield. Keeps we was heading into the sun, and I took two of them curtains down, so I uh, I left them up where. The, right between me and the sun, but out this way and out this way I could see. I could see the same thing out of either side. What was that? Open water in the Pacific. And there was no one flying the plane? There wasn't a soul up there. So I went back into the cargo area and I said, there ain't nobody flying this damn thing. And they all started laughing. Uh, one of them said, old Charlie's the fly, uh, handle the plane. And I said, well, I didn't see old Charlie up there anywhere. And then they started laughing again. And they explained to me that Charlie was an automatic pilot. How did Charlie fly the plane? Well, he just kept it, if it went sideways, he brought it back. He went, climbed, he'd bring it back. He kept it in, on course. And I sat up there for four hours. Didn't see a thing but ocean. <laughs> you and weren't scared. A lot, a lot of ocean up there. There is a lot of ocean. How did the pilot know when to come back up? Well, he was looking at his watch, I guess. <laughs> he got up, he got up in the cockpit just about, oh, about 15 minutes before we got to ADAC. He said, we're going to sit down at ADAC for lunch. We've already radioed ahead for 